we're just gonna hop back into Arduino and let's look at the code for um, the meeting controller. We're gonna go with meeting controller underscore no toggle. Okay. And we're gonna take a look at this code. It's all set up for you, but let's let's take a look and, and, and get it figured out for you too. So we're including the keyboard library, which allows the Arduino to speak to the computer like it's a keyboard. We have our three pins, seven, six, and five, corresponding to the window, close, the mute of the mic, and the mute of the camera. Okay, window pin, mute pin, camera pin. The window state, mute state, camera state, these refer to the pin, uh, whether or not the pin is low or high. So when you press the pin, it goes high because it's sending current to the pin. And when you press the button, it goes high, sending current to the pin. And when you press, release the button, it goes low because of the resistor that's attached to the ground rail. Uh, these previous states, um, I'm not using them. So they're not important. They don't affect anything if you leave them, so we just leave them. And then finally, whether or not the button has been pressed is set to a uh, Boolean, which is true or false. This uh, lets us say when the button is pressed, let's say it's true, and when the button is released, we're going to say it's false. Uh, everything that happens in Arduino is done through declaring variables and then creating functions. And in this case, we only need two functions. We're going to use the, the basic functions that every time you start a new Arduino file, it comes with setup and loop. And setup tells the Arduino what all those variables are meant to mean to that to it and what the pins on the Arduino do. Uh, and then some base communication, which we're not doing any serial communication. So I would comment out the uh, uh, pin 36 because there is no serial communication going on. It's all happening using a keyboard. Uh, so here we see the window pin, the mute pin, and the camera pin being declared as input pins. An input pin means we're taking values from them. We're not giving values to them, which would be an output pin. Uh, and then we are going to write to the pins that they're low. In this case, we're setting them low, but they are already set low by the resistor. So they're pulled down by the resistor. These are not necessary, but we'll leave them in just to double, double it up. And then we begin the keyboard. This is obviously necessary because if we don't add that line in, there is no keyboard at all. Now, in the loop, and we're adding a delay at the end of a quarter of a, milli, a, quarter of a second, 250 milliseconds, in the loop, you're going to read the three pins. We'll see what their state is. So if it's high, the window state is set to one. If it's low, the window state is set to zero. Then we do three different if statements to see if it is high. So if the window state is high, or in this case, uh, if it's set to high or one, but high is what it's set to. Uh, we're going to change the window toggle Boolean to true. And the same goes, these, these are re repeated for mute and camera as well. So we're, we'll set the toggle to true, which then means that when the uh, button is released, window state goes low and it goes to the else, else window state is low. What happens if the window toggle is true? Well, we want to Press the command key. We're going to wait 100 milliseconds. We, we want to register that these are button presses. So press the command key. Press the W key, which is close, right? Command W closes window. And then we're going to wait a second, or sorry, 100 milliseconds, and then we're going to release them. So tap, tap, release. Um, and then we set window toggle to false, and we go through the the motions of checking again. This is exactly the same here. In the case of Google Meet, Command D mutes your, top, mutes your microphone. And again, in uh, Google Meet, Command E mutes your camera. 
So let's send that code, now that we've made our circuit, let's send that code over. And as long as we have no errors in the code, let's see if it, yeah, okay. So I'm gonna throw open this window and let's mute my camera. So press, it's registered, release, it activates. Okay, same thing with the mic, microphone off, microphone on, and uh, bye. And that's it. So next we box it all up and uh, make it look good.